Oh my goodness, it's the end of seven weeks of quarantine for most of us. And I'm just so pleased to be having a little time with you this afternoon because I have a very special guest I want to share with you. I think you'll be very curious about what my guest Denise has to share. She recently completed the three E's program, uh, one that many of you have participated in, and uh, she's had some amazing results. I would love for you to hear her story and be inspired. First, a little homework. I would love for you in the comments to please say where you're listening from. I'd really like that. Send me a little heart so we know that there's some life out there. If you happen to be listening on the replay, please put hashtag replay in the comments so I can get a sense of who's listening now and who's listening later. Also, I welcome any questions. So it's always awesome for us, for me, to receive the things that you're concerned about, that you want to make comments about, that you want to share. This is the conversation. So thank you very, very much for joining us. Today, you're here with me, Tosca Reno, uh, founder of the Eat Clean Revolution. And eating clean has been a thing for 20 years. And I want to introduce you to not only someone who is a, an eat clean follower, but someone who has had an amazing experience recently on the Three East journey. And I'm going to introduce you to my dear friend, Denise Kamiski. And Denise, hello and welcome. How are you today? Hi there, Tosk. I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing good. It's always nice to see you. And I love when we get a chance to share about things that have positively benefited our lives. And I know we've, we've had a few conversations about those things. And I'd love for you to um, share with the audience, if you would, a little bit about yourself and what it was that prompted you to participate in the Three E's program. Okay, um, well, I've always been a big fan of yours, dating way back to like 2004, 2005. I bought all the books, Thank Oxygen you. Magazine, the whole thing. And then of course I went off track for the last few years. And last July, end of July, it was at my heaviest. And I, it wasn't that I noticed I was heavy. It wasn't until I saw a picture of myself that mm -hmm. shocks you. <laughs> and I think that's the wake up call. Uh -huh. Because, yeah. you know, the, the Lulu pants, they have a tendency to stretch and you don't realize. And then it wasn't until then that I decided there is a lot of programs. There's a lot of programs out there and I've done a lot of them, but I always found when was I ha having my most success? Mm -hmm. And that was years ago in 2004, 2005, when I was doing your, your uh, eat clean programs. So I went online and I just Googled you and here you are. And you were at the time you were promoting the strike sugar challenge. And right. so I went without hesitating. I just signed up for it. I said, I'm going to do this. I'm going to stay focused. And I did. And I was really surprised at how much I was eating off track and how much I wasn't focusing on it's... what I was putting in my mouth. And so I did that for the four weeks and I really liked it. And I got some good results. I think I lost about seven just over seven pounds doing that. Mm -hmm. And then I saw the three E's a wellness program and you know, and it's an investment and it's yeah. something that you have to take seriously. And it's not something that you just, yeah, I'll sign up and do it later. Like it is, I really dove right in and I said, this is it. I'm going to be laser focused. I'm going to do this program. And so I did that all throughout the fall. And it wasn't until about early November, end of October, that I really started seeing results. Like it was oh. where my friends were stopping me and where it was like a good amount. So on the three E's, I lost about 20 pounds and that was, you know, it was over time obviously. And, but it was a lot of um, just doing the work, putting yeah. in the exercising, the eating, but, and I, we've talked about this before, but the most important was the emotional side of it. And who knew, <laughs> who knew, right? Exactly. And I think that's what's yeah. missing from a lot of the other programs is the emotional side and the time you take just for yourself and just mm -hmm. to sit with yourself and kind of manifest what you want and manifest what we want to do. And um, so I really enjoyed that program. And of course, working with you and being able to have access to you 
and ask questions. And, uh, and so that's been really helpful. Amazing. But I think one of the main things I got out of this is I always hated cooking, always. <laughs> and by the recipes, being able just to put together the paleo loaf. Now I don't even need to look at the, the recipe. I just right. know it by heart. And I just put it together and it's not even a thought. And being able to go through the recipes and decide this is the one I want today and just being able to make you know the the micro tube <laughs> and you're not yeah. even having to think about it so good. and that oh yeah so that's yeah. been a big change and it hasn't been difficult like the recipes aren't difficult if you have yeah. the ingredients mm -hmm. and that's yeah. kind of the main thing Beautiful. yeah so i'm still doing it my girls are home and so we decided to do the strike sugar challenge again together since we're all home together. Yeah. So we just started that three days ago uh, with the family. So the girl, I have uh, two older daughters, 21 and 19, and then an 11 year old. But uh, we're all doing the program now. And uh, <laughs> it's pretty fun <laughs> to share that with them. It's clean together. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's good. I mean, we're all living together. We might as well do this yeah, together. Yeah, exactly. Quarantine yeah. situation. Um, yeah. Can you Thank you for sharing that. I just wanted to go back to one of the pointers, which was, um, and I think you shared this with me in a conversation we had recently, because um, for those of you who are not aware, I also do coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching, and Denise has become also one of my coaching clients. So, um, and we had a conversation, I think it was earlier this week, if I'm not mistaken, or late last week. And you said something to me about what happens to you in the afternoon when oh, yeah. you are and I think you use the word craving and you will I think people who are listening will be surprised it's not yeah. food she's craving <laughs> <laughs> well of course we all heard about that afternoon slump where we are craving be it a cup of coffee or the you know the candy or whatever and so now I'm finding by about three o'clock I almost crave that solitude or that meditation so I that time with myself and be it, you don't need to have a guided meditation, even just to have that music mm -hmm. and that 10 to 15 minutes just to sit down and to be quiet and just kind of reflect. And that's what I crave in the afternoon <laughs> now, not the cookie or the, the coffee. It's, it's the actual time just with myself because we are running around and people, you know, especially with kids, you're, you're busy and you're running around and you're doing this, this, this. And it's nice to say, hey, this is my time. I'm sitting down. <laughs> And my kids know if I have my headphones on, not to disturb me. <laughs> so it's been no, really gotcha. good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so it, has that been an adjustment for you? Because I don't believe that meditation was something that you've been doing before, or at least not maybe mm -hmm. consistently. Definitely not consistently. I mean, we all heard of meditation thinking it would be good. And, you know, you do the odd yoga class and at the end you do Shavasana and it's all nice. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't something I consistently was doing until I joined the threes of wellness, but not so much the meditation. And right after that, I always do the gratitude journal or any, you know, it doesn't always have to be gratitude, gratitude, but it's definitely a way to go through it. It's funny because I was just looking through some of my past journaling from early February today going, oh my gosh, what happened? Yeah, so much has but yeah, so I know, but because it makes me accountable when I do my morning meditation, then I do the journaling right away. And it's almost like it just goes hand in hand. You yeah. do that and go right into the journaling. It doesn't take long. Like it maybe takes 15, 20 minutes total. And it's right. a nice way to start the morning. Maybe you put the, the coffee maker on while that's going. Then that's when you do the meditation. Absolutely. It's a nice way just to, just to kind of wake up. And I, now that's my routine every single morning now. And uh, the afternoon around 2.30, 3 o'clock, that's my afternoon meditation for sure. Oh, that yeah, just beautiful. makes me feel better. I know. Well, I, thank you. I, you know, I'm so grateful that you made that a part of the program. So it I'm helped. wondering if um, you think that there are noticeable benefits in your well-being or your state of wellness as a result of meditation, because people often think it's just a very esoteric thing. They can't really feel it or touch it. Um, and so has this sort of translated into some sort of benefit that you can say, yeah, I've noticed this. Well, honestly, this is a great time. I think if you are going to start meditating because people are home with their families and that constant interaction, I've noticed, I mean, of course we all have our moments, but the, the patience yes. with everything is really, really, uh, 
resonated with me in regards to just being able to handle the things a little bit more or yeah. easy, easier yeah. with the kids and trying to get them to do their online schoolwork or having them, you know, whatever mm -hmm. that's kind of helps. I know that's helped for sure through the meditation. There is um, uh, an outcome of meditation that includes a bit of that, the stillness within yourself and the ability to observe what's going on around you and be less ready to whip out the gun or the reaction, you know, because we're all wanting to just pounce. And I found with meditation for myself too, it allowed me to just sort of step back and say, well, that's not really about me. I'm just going to observe what's happening here and so there's a lot less energy going out the door towards things that don't really count you know yeah. um and, and you can let other people handle their stuff so which is which is a great outcome and of course there's a lot of unseen benefits like lower blood pressure less anxiety do you think right. that um with regards to because there, there was a statistic that came out this week that one in two of us are struggling with a greater sense of depression or anxiety as a result of the COVID situation in quarantine. Do you think that um, this has helped you perhaps prepare for managing uh, the situation right now, having, having practiced meditation? Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm still, I, I mean, I'm always learning and I think practicing is a good word for it, but yeah. it has helped me not react to things but more mm -hmm. respond to things like I'm more responding to it as opposed to, like you said, that reaction that, and you know what, with COVID, it's just a weird time anyways. Yeah. And we're all, we're all just kind of shaking our head going, what is going on? Cause every <laughs> single day it's like groundhog's day. And yeah, uh, yeah so yeah. that part with the meditation, it's been really good for me because it does give some form of focus in my day and goals structure. if I wanted to achieve yeah. it, structure. Yeah. yeah, and that part's been really beneficial. So, um, you know, it's it's been good, I think, for me. And I've I kept was, it up. Yeah, well, and that's the thing. Um, you, I will say this, I'll give you that. You're uh, absolutely committed, which is amazing. So I was curious if you happen to have your, um, your goals in front of you, that beautiful colored paper <laughs> that you showed oh. me. <laughs> I do, I, I can't go get it. Because yeah, okay. I am up in my room. I'll share. Give me one second. Yeah. yeah. So, um, because that's have, actually really fun. Yeah. So I had the pleasure, actually, of meeting Denise. Um, of you are, who are listening. Thanks again for joining us. You're here with Tosca, you know. And um, I'm interviewing uh, Denise Kamiski, who's just finished the Three E's program and had some great results. And she's going to share something with you now. Maybe you can tell your little story about that. <laughs> Well, this is, um, so I did a workshop. We don't have to go into too much detail, but it was a, a kind of like a purpose statement. And you all had to, everybody had to make like a goal sheet. And this is something I made. And one of the main things, this is, I mean, this isn't new, this is old, yeah. but um, I made it all colorful. I, I keep this on my, um, on my closet door. So when I open it every single morning, I can see it and I can read it. And it's basically the purpose of my life. And then, you know, is to be loving, enjoy life, healthy, you know, for myself and my family, but right yeah. at the very bottom, and this it. is my one year goals. This is before I was doing the three years of wellness, but I just heard about it because it is a commitment, yeah. you know, financially and within yourself, you have to be committed right at the very bottom. I said, three E's of wellness <laughs> and sure enough, here I am. And it's funny because, yeah. you know, when you write it down and then you see it almost every day, it's mm -hmm. something where you know, you kind of manifest it. And um, of course I see, you know, ultimate health and I, you know, I had some other goals uh, that I wanted to accomplish, but the threes of wellness made the one year more, uh, goal sheet. And that was before I even did it. And that's, I think I did this when I was doing the strike sugar challenge oh, yeah. and I was just reading about the three. Getting some clarity on this because it hadn't set. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Okay. So anyway, so I made that poster. So I had to share it with Tosca I when I, I love it. Um, <laughs> you're actually implementing something that I teach in the three E's, which I, which is an, one of the exercises is to do your definite purpose statement. And then what I often tell people to do is record on voice memo, read your statement um, aloud and record it and then play it a couple of times a day, because then you're working on the principle of auto suggestion. So that's kind of what you're doing. It imprints on you every time that you write it, think it, see it, say it. Um, so that's yeah. one of the outcomes as well. Um, 
Okay, so with regard to the, because we've talked a little bit about the eating clean, we've talked about the emotional self-care with regard to the exercise. Um, you've been an avid exerciser, but yeah. tell me if there were things that became either more clear for you or the penny dropped with the whole um, three E's exercise bit. Well, definitely I was one of those gym moms that I would go and run up, you know, go on the treadmill for hour and a half, you know, forever and never see any difference. You know, those cardio junkies that we call us. And it, it wasn't until, you know, I started with your program to do the weights and to actually, I think I was just tickling the surface of my workouts. I wasn't actually doing a workout. You know, you just like, you get a little brow sweat. You're like, oh, this is great. But um, I did go ahead and I got a rebounder, which I adore. Oh Love Even it. if I could just do it for 10 to 15 minutes, it just... Yeah. If I'm sore, it just helps kind of, oh, you know, yeah. get everything moving. I guess you can say it's really Absolutely. nice. So sometimes I'll just do ten minutes of that, and then I'll go into my weights, or um, you introduced a few of the metabolism. My metabolism needs to be boosted, or you know, we need to stay on top of that just because of my age. And I've been doing like I'll do the rebounder, and then I do the metabolism workout, but the weights. The that's the key yeah and I did not know that I would do maybe like 10 pounds for five <laughs> that would be my workout yeah, and no, I'd chat no. the rest of the time <laughs> yeah so not anymore now that's changed a bit and uh um you know with this I did pick up a few I have some free weights obviously and um, well you've seen I've been I have a little home gym which thank god I do have a home gym um yes. and then you know, I can go downstairs and I can, it's just in my basement. It's nothing fancy, but at least I have a few weights there. Mm -hmm. I have some space. And then I, I followed your kettlebell workout and I don't know why, but for some reason I bought the kettlebells right before all this happened. So I had oh. them on hand. Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> so I do have, so it's not, you know, it's nice to have a little bit of equipment, but nothing crazy. No, no big, no. you know, you don't need a lot of big machines or a lot of no, stuff, but just some free weights. Um, I do have a bench down there, which is really good. Yeah. And then, um, and then other than that, I do have a dog. So my dog and I have been walking and actually it's funny because my, the health thing on my Apple, I see it says you're up in your steps. I've been up like 2000 steps a day, wow, more than I was before all this started. Amazing. So, so that's, yeah. So, so the little things like 19, that. It's not going to be, a, there's a joke about the, you know, gaining wow. the 19 pounds. And I really feel like for myself, I know I've lost weight. Um, and I think with the structure of the eating clean and all the exercise you're doing, I don't think you're going to have a problem with that. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, my, my biggest drawback, and we've talked about this is, you know, drinking wine or being social, socially yeah. drinking. And now yeah. what's going on is all these zoom calls with my friends and everybody has a glass of wine. Yes. Oh, yeah. Where's your wine? Where's your wine? And so I'm always like, oh my gosh, I'm not drinking right now. And, but it's hard because that's, you want to be social. And I do, you know, so that's been my biggest thing is just like, you know, having some wine here and there. But um, yeah. my husband and I both made a commitment weekend, we're, like if we have some on the weekend. Otherwise you'd be drinking, yeah, every day, which is possible. Um, I think we talked about that at the very beginning of your journey. And I use the words re reframing how you go into yes. a social situation. Can you share a little bit about that um, learning? Yeah, it was a really good shift for me because, um, and actually you've taught me a lot of different ways to shift my way of thinking, which I'm very appreciative. Um, the drinking for, especially, because mm -hmm. it's like to enjoy that one glass as opposed to just drinking, not thinking about it. Right. Like I'd have, you know, um, I have one of those never ending glasses of wine because my husband would keep refill, refill, refill. And I didn't even know, but now like <laughs> I'll have one, one glass. And now I'm trying to keep it no more than two max throughout the night if we do our drinking a night that right. way at least I'm in, a little bit in control of it <laughs> plus I don't want to be hung over because the next day I have a workout to do <laughs> we gotta get back to it <laughs> yeah. but it, I mean it's it's hard it is hard during this time because it is a stressful time these are and unusual circumstances for sure it is yeah it is um uh, we're going to wrap it up a little bit now for yeah. those who are listening. Uh, I'll just re, re, um, cap a little bit of this. It's Tosca Reno here and you're speaking with and listening to Denise Kumiski and her experience with three E's has been very inspirational. She has dropped as she mentions it herself, 20 pounds. I think uh, you said at one time, 25, I think. And then, yeah, I've gained back about three 
but um, that's why I'm yeah. doing, we just started the strike sugar again, just to see if we can, you know, and I think it had to do with just the situation. As well. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that three E's has offered the structure around three components of wellness that the World Health Organization advocates and that I now teach, which is the eating clean, the exercise and the emotional self-care. I think Denise, you've had success in each of those areas. Um, and so could I ask you to share some inspiration besides all of the other lovely things you've shared, if you were to sum it up for listeners now, considering either the program or Strike Sugar or anything else, which they can all find at uh, on my website at toscareno.com, and there's a research page research page called Tosca at Home. What would you say to someone who's just on the fence thinking about doing any one of the programs? Well, I mean, I think your health is probably the most important thing that you have. We've kind of noticed this now, especially with this coronavirus. Yeah. If you don't have your health, you don't have anything. And, you know, I mean, you just get to a point where you just, you want to feel good. Like you get tired of feeling tired. You get tired of feeling sluggish. And it just gets to the point where you want to be healthy. And I, I just think this is a really well-balanced program because it does hit all angles. And whereas, I mean, there's so many other programs, but it's just a matter of what, um, what they're offering. Mm -hmm. And I do, I felt like I had a lot of support, not just from you, but from everybody else doing the program. It's a real community. And I like yeah. that too. That was really fun. And I, I don't know. I just, I really think that this made sense to me because it, you are eating clean, healthy food mm -hmm. and, you know, some other programs, they have you eating some stuff like these weird sugar bars or weird yeah. stuff that just yeah. doesn't make sense because when you go off the program then what happens and what happens so this you? is yeah this is more of a lifestyle change That's as opposed thing. as opposed to just uh eat well for six weeks or five weeks or you know yeah. i think the yeah. freeze is 12 so for it 12 is, weeks wow. so, yeah and then but once i'm life. done with yeah exactly yeah. now that i haven't really been following the threes to the t but i definitely know how to cook <laughs> and know how to choose the healthy yes. foods. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. And so that. that's one of the things is you have this program for life. And that means that you can go back and revisit parts that you didn't quite get through. But these habits are going to be yours for the rest of your life as long as you choose to adhere to them. So um, absolutely. I, I want to thank you, Denise, for your beautiful energy and just being so willing to share your experience with the audience. Um, I know that in this time where technology can join us and we can't actually be together, but we can be together in this circle, um, any words that are positive and uplifting and inspirational are going to help many who are struggling at this time. And that is one of the beautiful outcomes of any one of the programs that we do is that there's a really strong sense of community and a beautiful energy amongst people. So um, thank you so much for sharing everything today with sure. us, Denise, and for sharing your beautiful light on my social media platforms. I appreciate that and I know others do too. Um, the ripple effect is real. <laughs> So, and um, I want to, uh, to thank all the listeners today. I do look forward to your comments. I always welcome whatever you have to say, as, as long as we stick to our lovely guidelines, you know, but it is an open community. And um, keep in mind that this weekend is going to be beautiful weather. Get your physical body outside and moving. Soak in some vitamin D. But obviously pay attention to the quarantine rules and know that we are in a most historic time. The planet is undergoing a dramatic shift and so are you. You're being asked to step up in a way that probably feels uncomfortable, but if you can stand in the discomfort and grow with it and find new parts of yourself, new strong parts of yourself, then whatever comes next, we're gonna be able to handle it. So thank you again for listening. Always remember to check me out, toscareno.com. Go to my Tosca at Home resource page. And remember, my passion is your wellness. Thanks for listening. Thank you. Thank you, Denise. Sure 